What's going on guys? It's Nate from Nate Bauer Fitness and this video, it's long overdue. This is the best heavy bag for you based on your experience, skill level, and intentions. Let's get it done. All right, here's a breakdown. Number one, your height and your size, your weight. Listen, I'm 180 pounds. I love a heavier heavy bag, but I've boxed, you know, for 15 years now. I've been doing this for a long time. So I just, I know what I like. I know what I like to bang out, what feels good. It's a heavier heavy bag. It's not a Muay Thai style. It's the half bag. That's preferable for me. I even like them a little bit thicker than this. This one's a little too narrow and not quite as heavy as I would like it to be. This one's about 110 pounds. I like them somewhere around two or 250. So if you're a heavier guy, say 250, 200 pounds, 250, you for sure need a heavier heavy bag, somewhere around 200, 250 pounds, if not more. If you are a smaller guy, but you're a power puncher, you might want to use something a little bit heavier as well. And at the end of the day, if, if you just are a beginner too, you don't want something too light because when you're a beginner, you don't really know how to absorb your punches into the heavy bag very well. So the bag is going to swing often. So my personal opinion, as you can now tell, is to spend a little extra money to get a heavier heavy bag if you have the I-beams to support it. Obviously, the heavier it is, the more support you need to hold it. So don't take, you know, don't buy a 300 pound heavy bag and basically have it hang on a two inch I-beam. You gotta, you know, use a little common sense on that one. The next thing I want you to think about is, you know, you're a heavier guy or, you know, so you know you need a slightly heavier bag. If you're a smaller guy, even though you're a smaller guy, you might be convinced to get, say, a $30 or $40 heavy bag. You have to take into consideration that when you get that, it's gonna swing a lot. There's not gonna be a lot of cushion inside. If you get good at it and you use it often, it's gonna swing all over the place and it might be frustrating. You just wanna beat the shit out of it because it won't stop moving. If there's not a brace on the bottom for you to secure it to the floor, you're gonna hate it. So although you're not a bigger person, you're a smaller person, but you wanna use a bag that's more secure, get a heavier one. It's better for you to spend a little more money for something you can have long-term instead of spending a little less money and getting something that's gonna piss you off. And there's nothing worse than dragging a heavy bag from the store to your house and from your house back to the store. It's a pain in the ass, man, I'm telling you. I used to shift these things and that's the exact reason why I stopped. All right, the other thing is guys, is skill level. If you are a skilled boxer, you've been doing it for a long time, you typically already know what heavy bag you like. Like I said, I like heavier, hard, heavy bags that, you know, these still really aren't hard enough for me. I like them really secure, really solid, so I can bang into them. So if you're an experienced fighter and say you're a power puncher, you need a high quality heavy bag. You can get them secondhand, guys, look around for them. They're often there because these things fill up a lot of space and people tend to get rid of them. If you're an experienced boxer and you're a little more with the speed side of thing, and you throw a little more faster combinations, counter puncher, you don't necessarily need the heavier heavy bag. But again, if you're banging out the bag, Often, if you start banging that out, you're gonna be pissed off if you get a new one and it's moving too much, so take that consideration. Typically, faster fighters who throw more combinations can use a little less weighted heavy bag, all right? So that's also a key point. Now, if you're a power puncher and the heavy bag moves too much, again, get a heavier version or learn to impale the heavy bag more so it doesn't move, so work on your Again, your skill, work on your power punching impact points so that you know exactly what to do, all right? So you're not moving that heavy bag too much or secure it from the bottom. Actually, these have a secure, a little thing right here. You can lock it in to secure these from the bottom, all right? So you can also have that. Okay, guys, another thing is how often you use your bag. It's just like a good pair of heavy bag gloves, guys. Listen, if you use your heavy bag, or your heavy bag two, three, four times a week, yo, buy a good quality heavy bag. Rival makes a good bag. Ringside are the bags that I like the best. They do the leather bags for 250 pounds. I love those heavy bags. I don't owe, there's, this is not a collab between myself and Ringside. They just make good heavy bags, period. I think Everlast makes a fat, heavier bag. All those are good, but me personally, I only ever used the, the Ringside heavy black. It's black on one side, but on the other, something like that. That's the heavy bag that I love the most because again, it's leather. I can bang into it, it's 250 pounds, and that will last you a lifetime. If it gets worn out, it's because you're putting in work, right? So make sure if you're banging out the bag two or three times a week, like a good pair of bag gloves, you wanna make sure you get a high quality so you're not overusing it and wasting your time dragging that shit back and forth after a year or two, right? Get yourself a good quality bag with that. And lastly, guys, it comes down to how much room you have. If you don't have anything for room in your basement or wherever you're storing the heavy bag, you're gonna use something smaller. So if that's the case, 
Maybe you want one of these bad boys right here. Muay Thai bag where they're a little thinner, but you know, you know, if you have a longer space that you can hang that's a little bit higher, you can use something a little bit thinner. Or you simply just go with the heavier bag and just use, you know, three quarters of one side of the heavy bag. And just make sure you're not going to be banging out the wall behind you because if it swings a lot and that jip rock is too close, mama and pop are going to get pissed off or wifey or something like that because you're banging out the jip rock with the heavy bag. So it comes down to space. If you have the right amount of space, get yourself a heavier heavy bag. If you're just a counter puncher and you want to let your hands go and it's not going to fall over the place and you're experienced, then you can hook up a smaller one. But trust me, guys, if you spend a little extra money, if you have it, of course, not everybody does, to spend on a higher quality heavy bag, get one. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'll leave my three kind of favorite heavy bags in the description. You can check out all those links along with the other links in there as well. And you can just see the three favorite heavy bags that I like based on size, based on, again, quality, and just bags that I've actually used. You can see those there. And remember, guys, if you have the extra money to spend, buy a high-quality high heavy bag. And also, if you don't have the money to spend, guys, don't look past looking for a second-hand one of these bad boys because oftentimes... People buy these things, and it's like a pool table. They buy it, and they use it for six months to become a laundry table. You know what I mean? So don't be afraid to look around and find something on you know, Facebook or whatever it is so you can locate one of these good quality heavy bags for next to nothing just to drag it into someone's basement. That's a good thing to do with most fitness equipment because, the guys, at the end of the day, not everybody is as dedicated as you might be in the fitness scene, and they just bring it in, and they want to get it out, all right? So I hope this video is a kind of a good review of why you should get certain heavy bags, ones that work best for you, and of course, the best way to save some money on these bad boys to get the most out of your workouts, all right? All right, guys, I hope that helps. Make sure you check out more videos like this one right here. Hit this sub button if you appreciate the content. Also, check out for Nate Bauer Elevated. There's lots of stuff coming to you guys very soon. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.